Hey YouTube, it's uh, Tyler Who here. Uh, like my new name because of Google Plus. Anyway, um, how you been? Um, it's been a little bit, but not as long as it was the last time I made a video. Um, which in the last video I forgot to mention that I have moved into a new place. Um, this is the new apartment. This is actually my spare bedroom, which is why it's probably really echoey. <laughs> but that's good sound, right? I don't know. Uh, anyway. <laughs> So, yeah, so uh, today I'm going to talk about sort of a more serious topic. Well, not really serious, but just uh, a little bit more than I'm usually discussing. Uh, it might run a little long, and I might be a little, uh, you know, here and there everywhere. So just sit back and relax and uh, <laughs> get ready for it. Um, but yeah, so yesterday I woke up and... I literally felt like shit <laughs> and it wasn't like a physical sickness I wasn't like ill I just was mentally sick like I felt just <laughs> like what the fuck am I doing and reason being is that I feel like I'm stuck in this rut and the rut being that every day I get up and I go to work and I work eight nine hours a day and at a shitty job that I hate and I come home and it's like 12, 1, 2 in the morning, I am tired, exhausted, and mentally strained, and I go to bed, well, and I wake up and I do it all over again. And that is all for this ultimate purpose of just literally paying my bills. Like, I work to pay my bills. So, it's like this endless cycle of work, just so I can have this place, and then, but I'm never here. <laughs> like, I work for this place, and I'm never here. It just, it kind of messed with me. And I stood in the shower for like 30 minutes yesterday thinking about this. And I said, you know what? I got to put this in a video. Because it's a real problem, I think, in society today is that, you know, in school, we're asked at a very young age, what do you want to do with your life? What, what do you want to be when you grow up? And, you know, I started thinking about it. And I was like, that's literally the only time that they give a fuck about us is at a very young age, because after that, they don't ask you again. They don't ask you ever. <laughs> after that, it's like, okay, you gotta do this test, you gotta learn this equation, you gotta do this and this. And then before you fucking know it, they're like, okay, it's time to sign up for college. And you're like, well, do I need to go to college? Wait, what am I gonna do when I get out of college? What do I actually wanna be when I grow up? And by that point, you're pretty much grown up. So it's too late. <laughs> It's like, why are they stressing so much on these, you know, these tests? And I can remember in high school learning fucking stems. I don't know if you guys learn stems where you are, but stems are like the beginning of words. Like, um, bell is the only one I can remember. B-E-L-L -L means war. And so that's supposed to help you determine, you know, words or whatever. But that was a huge part of my English class, was learning these stems. And you would have a whole week to learn like 50 stems. And then they'd say, okay, here's the test. Literally throw me back what you just, like they give you a sheet with all the stems on it. And they'd say, okay, learn these stems. And you're not learning them. You know what I did? I looked at the sheet right before the test and wrote down what I remembered. And, you know, I'm here. I graduated. So that's all that matters. And I feel like it's a really big problem and that people need to be like, wait a minute. I need to tell my kids, like, and you can, you can say it's like a, the parent's responsibility, but it's not. The parent is supposed to raise the child to be a good person and to be, you know, the best person they can be. But in high school and in middle school and stuff, you're supposed to learn how to get out into the world. That's what we're doing there. And here I am, 22, almost 23, um, had the same shitty job since I was 16. I've, um, you know, went to college, dropped out because I got a better job, but then lost that job, had to come back to the same shitty job. So I've actually had two jobs, but that one job didn't last but like three months. And, but it was a good paying job and I thought, this is it, this is change. And so I dropped out of college, went to this job, it didn't go through. And so now I'm back at the same shitty job that I had and I have not went back to college. And you can say, well, that's your fault. But what's the, what's the point? <laughs> like, at the end of the day, my point is, what am I going to do with my life? 
That's what they need to be asking you at, in high school. What are you going to do with your life? You need to know that. Before you fill out this college application, before you take this test, before you learn these fucking STEMs, what are you going to do with your life? What interests you? What makes you happy? What would you be okay doing every day for the rest of your life? And I don't know, to tell you the truth. And it's scary as shit to not know what you want to do with your life. It's so scary. Um, because I feel like I'm at this dead end. And like I said, my point being a while ago was, if I go back to college, like, I've only got like four classes that I need. Okay? I go to back to college, I get a two-year uh, business degree in business administration. Okay? What's that going to do for me? <laughs> like, I'm, oh, hey, here's this degree that I have now. Take me, right? No, that's not what they're going to do. They're going to say, oh, sorry, we're not hiring right now, uh, or that degree doesn't matter, or do you even want to be in business? Like, why are you, that's, <laughs> when you, I went to community college, when you go to community college, they're like, okay, here is a huge ass book of all these pathways that you can take, and you have to decide, well, do I want to be, you know, a nurse, or a doctor, or a lawyer, or something else, and I was just like, I like business, I guess. And then we had that big recession, and I was like, oh, what am I doing? <laughs> but, um, yeah, so my point being in this long rant of a video is that you need to figure out what you want to do with your life. If you're still in high school right now, then this is the perfect time for this video. Um, save yourself. Really consider what you want to do with your life, because if you just have these ideas and these thoughts like, oh, no, maybe I want to do that, or maybe I could do that, do it. <laughs> I've always thought that I could be an architect, but I can't draw. I always thought I could be a chef, but I can't cook. Um, my one passion in life is movies, so I thought, you know what, I'll be a movie critic. I can't write. I can't, you know, I mean, I can write, but I can't, like, I don't know. I do better with this. Like, this is why I do movie reviews on here is because I can vocally say it better than I can write it down or type it out on, a, like, a computer or whatever. But anyway, the point being... Find out what you want to do with your life and just do it. Don't let anyone stop you and don't let these freaking stems or, you know, these stupid tests worry you because I don't know a single stem that I learned except for one. <laughs> and I'm in a two-bedroom apartment alone doing just fine. But at a shitty job I hate. Point being, find out what job you want and just do it. Okay? <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's about it. If you made it this far, congrats. Uh, if you liked the video, give the video a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And um, I'm going to put all my links below, Tumblr, Twitter. Um, if you want to follow me, you can. Um, I'm starting to tweet a lot more. And I want to do um, more videos. I'm trying to get back in the habit of it. Vita is in the, on the horizon. So uh, i got to get prepared for that. But until next time. I will see you guys later. Bye.